Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, just pushing out positivity, loving yourself as well as loving others, and helping us make humanity better and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you please go ahead and you know share with a loved one or a friend and go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites as well and once again thank you so much for the love and support towards the channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and this music that I'm listening to today this is very peaceful it's called 852 Hertz, Release Unconsciousness, Bad Energy, Open Up to Spiritual Experience, and Deep Healing, Let It Go. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101 and Paths Pushing Towards Spiritual Alchemy. Yes, we all everybody should be an alchemist you know you bring you manifest things you want things to come into your life you know you say affirmations you push out positivity you work hard for the things you work for I mean there are so many things you know I expect I check check up on my extended family they have everything going on they're like Rosalind I'm about to start a YouTube channel or Rosalind I'm trying to you know get content to go ahead and probably do this or Rosalind I'm starting this new job or Rosalind I think I might go back to school you know there's so many different people are doing so many things that you know are bettering their lives they're giving them a better life um making them you know it's just like so many times we have got stuck in jobs we don't want places we don't want to be and it makes you miserable it makes your frequency stay low you stay irritable you know you're tired you're depressed so it's just like situations happen it's just like I've been at jobs like I can know that first week am I gonna last it this week or oh gosh this job is not gonna work too long and I already know just by how things are going on either me and the boss is already bumping heads or it's just how the employees are messy it's always something but it was just like I knew anytime I left a job there are some jobs I actually did love there are some jobs I have left because it was too stressful or sad or something like that or I just moved but it, it was just like now that I'm doing something that I really want to do I'm working towards something even though I'm not making any money or whatever like that I love what I do I really do love what I do because it's just like like I've said in many times in my videos it's just like there's so many of us that are going through spiritual awakenings that don't know what's going on I mean you're scared you know you don't know if you're crazy I mean I've known so many people that are going through spiritual awakenings they're either getting themselves having a psyche valve or they're going to go see a therapist and I'm like y'all don't need to do that yeah I mean it will make you know it's just all the things you're going through and make you feel like you're going crazy but it's just like I know when I start going through my things and it's just like okay every time I get a job it's like either the money's not good or the money's good but you got to go through so much hell just to have that money or it's just always something it's just like I always said I wanted to work for myself and I knew from all the jobs <laughs> that I was doing that all of the ideas I was consuming and saying oh, okay you know I see how they do this especially on privately owned uh, businesses I got a chance to work in a lot of those so it's just like dad you know this gives me ideas for the things that I might want to do in the near future. I don't know if I want to actually open a store or anything like that, but I'm just saying. If it was that case, I've got all that knowledge and stuff that I've stored, you know, from all those things. I can manifest those things in my life. You know, you're an alchemist of your own life. You can bring all these positive things in your life. When you know you can bring some negative stuff to it. You can always bring some positive. So it's just like you got to say your affirmations. You got to write down a goal plan or, you know, um, know the things that you need to 
you need to do to get towards what you need. And it's just like, I love what I do. I know I want to be a motivational speaker. I might want to carry this on to something else and make something bigger, you know, but it's just like social media is like, wide stream or mainstream or whatever you want to call it so it's just like so many of us are going through so many different things and it's just like I mean it's amazing where people just browse like how do I do this or how do, how can I go for this and it's just like I'm not all the way there yet but all these experiences I'm happy that I can be able to help somebody because I'm like oh I've been through that I can help you you know and it's just like it sucks when you have been through a situation and you're trying, you know, if you hadn't been through that situation, you're trying to help somebody and you really don't know how to if you haven't been through that. So it's just like everything I'm manifesting towards my life, you know, I'm not used to people coming up and asking me my advice for something. I'm not used to that because I was always told, you know, nobody won't listen to you. Nobody won't, you know, what do you got to say that's so important? You know, they used to always do that to me because they seen the light in me that they didn't want to see. I didn't see that light in me I wanted to see but now I'm able to see that and it's just like a beautiful thing when you can be able to manifest all these things into your life and you know you can do it as well you know what you want to go for you know there's things in your life with you being a light worker you might be a shaman you might be a psychic you might be a clairvoyant you might be a medium you might be doing your some kind of empath that you know there's something that you are going for there's a lot of people that okay they they they're helping to heal they're showing people they're mirroring to people but there's a lot of people that I'm meeting that don't really they can't find their purpose and you know and it's all right to not know your purpose because it's like if you're going through so many things you know your mind's all over the place so it's just like okay I try to tell people when you're trying to find your purpose, what is your true talent? You got to find out what your true talent is. What is the things that you know you can bring light into somebody else's life as well as your own? And when you find out those things that you know, you, you, you know, we can preach everything to all these people, but we have to be able to instill them into ourselves. So anything you're trying to manifest into your life, believe in it. Believe it within yourself and know that you can get that. So even though you might not be there yet, you will see the signs that you're heading towards that right path. I see the signs all the time. I'm heading towards that path. I might not be there yet. I don't know where God's taking me. I don't know where the universe is taking me. But I know I'm leading towards that way. And you can too as well. So I hope everything is able to come to you and manifest the way it's supposed to. I hope that you were able to resonate with the content of this video. So when you're going for something, go for it and go hard for it. And don't give up. Because you will eventually get it. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out uplifting abundance, healing abundance, loving and comforting abundance. Especially to whoever truly needs it. And my post notification shut out goes to... Let me see why I haven't gave out yet... Um, I will do Whitney Strader. I hope I pronounced your name right. Much love to you, sis. Um, love and blessings to you as well. And I hope you had a blessed week or starting off a safe week. And um, I will see y'all in my next video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you, even if it's about the positive feedback of the video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it's impacting you towards a positive direction or just you know if you feel like you want to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so especially on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and i will see you on my next video happy holidays and peace be wow